understanding the urgency of tonight's Game 4. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome back to EA Sports' continuing coverage of the playoffs. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Quick pass to Nesterov. Musa quickly over to Ennis. Belarus gains control of the puck. With the one-timer. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Made the stop on the play. Back at the point, they set it up. And he gets in the lane to block that. The Dynamos have it against the wall. Long lead pass into the open ice. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Moscow's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Ferguson's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Into the offensive end now. Shot! There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Tries to feed it over to Callis. Gets in front of the one-timer. Redirected in front. Denies him again. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Williams looks around. Shot right in front. Wicked stop by the goaltender. Ferguson's able to get to position and negate that dangerous lot shot. Fire it. <laughs> There's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. Both teams back on the ice are lined up and period number two is about ready to go. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Moscow's in a scoreless game here, and it's hard to believe considering the amount of possession time that they've had. Coaching staff would have told them in the second period they just need to continue what they're doing, except they have to find... Scores! Hockey is a game of inches. If the pass isn't on the tape, if it's in your feet, all of a sudden you're fumbling for it, and that gives the coverage time to defend you. But this one, it's right on the money, and the goal is a result. Moscow's gone up by one here in the second period. Now, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Belarus takes a hold of the puck in the neutral zone. Volkov's got it in the offensive zone. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Nesterov's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Through center along the wing. Sends it in front. And he slides it quickly to Hamilton. Blocked in front. Good heads up play with the bank pass. He grabs the puck here at the point. Wide of the net and missed. Oh man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice and then he just misses. Quick shot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Moscow's got the puck. The checker's looking against the half wall. And that's picked up in the defensive end. Penalty coming up here. More well, than one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they've got to find a way to kill it off. Belarus sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. 
Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. And nearing the final minute of the second. And that's picked up by Richie. Belarus has been in... Well, you can't do that, or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. A tight game at the end of a period, and you take a penalty. The PKers have to come up huge and get you to the intermission. Belarus has a five on three with loads of time to spare. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Grabbed along the board by Williams. Passes it to Callis. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Breaks away. shows a ton of confidence and lets that shot rip. Belarus has tied things up, but on the heels of that goal, Cheryl, do you subscribe in the theory that they've got the momentum now? I would certainly say they do. Anytime you score at this time of the game, it is critical, and they're the ones that succeeded in that effort, and it's a great one at that. They've worked hard, they've pushed, and now they'll be heading into the intermission. A lot to talk about, but they'll start with the momentum. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. The Checkers win it in the defensive zone. And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. Belarus takes possession as this period is underway and they are still on the power play. Callis plays it now. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Oh, stick save and a few. The Dynamos with that goal have gone up by one here in the third. Well, you're better up by one than down by one, James, but there's a lot of runway left. Now it's a mindset of attack, but be defensively responsible. Taken by Curran. Taken along the wall by Richie. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. takes the feed and he's taken down the officials arm signaling for a penalty into the offensive end right up the middle penalty coming up as the play's blown dead well the bench doesn't like this call james it's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead now the pk unit they got to get out there and they got to do a job The checkers roll out their man advantage unit and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. That goes wide. And that puck leaves the zone. Kamenev. Fires it on net. And he had the answer. 
wrong that one. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Ennis is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Belarus wins the draw. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Here comes the sentence. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. Belarus is ready to go back to work on special teams. Oh, and that one's going to hurt, but they still have an opportunity here on a four-on-three. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Sends a pass over. Richie's execution on... Oh, the save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Belarus has it against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Richie. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Sends the pass over. Such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. kind of shake your head and say is there ever going to be a goal and you get endless opportunities around the net and you can't finish often the stick gets a little bit tighter as you want that one so bad you can almost taste it and it's not just going in stop by the goaltender so he just bulldozes his way to the net i mean whoever's in front of him are trying to take him down well get out of there he's gonna move you because he's got the power he's got that low center of gravity to shield the puck and man, he makes no mistake on that shot, but it's turned aside because the goaltender read it perfectly. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Late goings of this period. Belarus leads it 2-1. Moscow's won the draw. Here he is, he's close. Scores! Off the post and in. Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. This just exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. Moscow's leveled the playing field with that big-time goal here in the third. And usually at the late stages of a game like this, when it's tied, the victor is the one that goes for it and knows that they have to find a way to execute. If you're too worried about making a mistake, you're going to sit back and you're going to have the game taken to you. Moves it quickly over to Richie. That's blocked. The trickers will play it in their own end. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Volkov. Shot! There's the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot and probably terrified those fans right behind it. Yeah, everyone was flinching just thinking that puck was going to go straight through, but a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays. It doesn't shatter, it just simply spiders. Nonetheless, it has to be replaced. Moscow's got it in their own zone. Skates across the blue line. The checkers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Answered the call on that play. Quick feed to Fritz. Takes a shot. Let's go! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. And you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Well, that's an incredible push to finish off the third period here, James. You're urgent on the puck. You find a way to get it to the net. And now that could wind up with the game-winning goal. This is a real deflator for your opponent. The Dynamo's been going in one direction all night long. And that's to the net. And they win here in this third period. Game 
if they can get it to 3-2, I'm telling you, their opponent's going to feel it. They're going to feel the pressure of them coming. Well, what a night of hockey, and the intensity will only continue to ramp up with the next playoff game, and we will see you all then here at EA Sports.